everyone. Uh, I'm Dalia and I am a parent, uh, I can dance parent and also a trustee of the charity. Um, Juliet and I have known each other for quite some time now, haven't we? <laughs> we have. Um, and today we're just going to have a chat about I can dance and um, all the amazing things that Juliet does through the charity. Um, so yeah, maybe you can tell us a little bit about why you started I Can Dance and, um, and then we can take it from there. Great. Thanks, Dalia. Um, well, I suppose dance has always been such an important part of my life. Growing up, dance was a place where I expressed myself, where I performed, grew in confidence. But sometimes da dance also was my escape from the rest of the world and it offered me so much and um and then as i got older and the, that it, it can also be about perfection and challenges and getting it right and dance became a bit more challenging um but as i grew in my professional status both as a special needs teacher um i then discovered something called dance movement psychotherapy and i realized that dance actually is a tool and is a, and it's not just about performance or getting things right but that it's a tool to be able to understand yourself and explore yourself more and i started using this tool in relation to working with young people and families living with children with disabilities or in mental health um, and i realized many of them i was working on a one-to-one -one therapeutic work and they were reaching the benefits of what it is to use their bodies to express and to explore some of their inner world but for many of them i just felt that they needed to take some of those um, experiences and be in the outside world in the community with others with peers with their families and have the same opportunities and not just be locked into a therapy session but what would it feel like to to express themselves in a community in a group and so that really motivated me and um, to think how could I make that possible for the many young people that I was meeting that were exploring themselves uh, and their expressions and feelings on a one-to-one -one in a more dance experience in the community and so I just when I suggested it to families they would often say oh but there isn't anything else like that around in, in the area yeah. and so I just decided to start one and, and that sort of motivated me to start I Can Dance. It's amazing. I mean, speaking as a parent of a special needs child, I can really say that there, there's not much out there for us to do in the community, especially I think the wheelchair is a social barrier um, as well. So people immediately see the wheelchair, but there's also children with special needs that aren't in a wheelchair and, and don't necessarily look disabled. So I think there's a lot of room and scope for work around that is to um, to talk about inclusion and talk about what is inclusion and how can we be more accepting of the different types of disabilities that are out there and showing our children that there are different types of people and we're not all the same and that's okay so um what enough so, and I feel that dance really gives a platform for that, Dalia. Yeah. And I think that's what I love about dance is that it's, it can offer, if you hold it in the space that we've created at I Can Dance, that it is non-judgmental and it's not about, um, or about getting it right, but about using it as a tool to explore, to express, to connect, to feel, to move, to shape, to create. Um, and I think by using this tool that is 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 possible for all of us that, that we all start off in life dancing and somehow along the way we forget it along the way we forget our bodies and we live in our heads and i can dance i really wanted to revisit that the the body and mind are connected and that through it we can connect um with each other and with understanding ourselves regardless of our difference mm 